Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, as promised, here is the vlog from our Eureka Springs, Arkansas trip. It was a ton of fun, a very cool little town uh, with lots to do, hiking, uh, you know, a couple haunted hotels, a really cool downtown area. Uh, it's a trip that I definitely recommend anybody go on if you're in the area. Uh, we usually go on these trips close to us or like within a two to three hour radius. So the the trip is nice and, and quick and, and we had an opportunity to do some hiking and, and some other activities like that. So Eureka Springs was the perfect uh, location and it just happened to have a lot of cool other things to do, such as the Crescent Hotel, which we're going to talk a little bit about later. Um, but first, let's kind of get into uh, the the hiking side of things. Uh, we love to hike uh, as a family. It's something that the kids really enjoy, too. Uh, it's a way to kind of, you know, get out, get exercise and still let them kind of explore. Now, the, we usually go like late fall, early springtime to kind of avoid a lot of the bugs and, and snakes and stuff because of the kids. Uh, so the weather was really nice, like 40, high 40, low 50, uh, you know, nice jacket weather. We When you get moving, it's perfect. Uh, we hiked around a, a, a lake or a pond or whatever you want to call it. And then we got to hike up and down uh, this mountain trail with a lot of caves and and uh, like uh, rock ledges and everything like that. So we had a ton of fun, as always. Like the, the kids really enjoy it too. It's just a nice like uh, thing to kind of get out, get fresh air, touch grass. Since I live in my basement, uh, basically when I'm at home. Uh, so we had a ton of fun. Uh, again, would recommend this area if you're a hiker or a mountain biker or a canoeer. Uh, there's just a ton of stuff to do around this area. The Ozarks themselves are are full of you know this uh, type of environment that are just that are just fun to explore. Um, another uh, cool thing about Eureka Springs is that it has a, a cool downtown area. And finally, the Crescent Hotel. Now, uh, this is a pretty cool tour uh it is something that i don't me and my older daughter went to uh we kept the younger daughter uh, my, my wife kept the other younger daughters at home uh but but uh we wanted to go and kind of experience this we we got a night tour so it made it extra creepy um but the 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 vibe the atmosphere the storytelling that was on the tour i would recommend uh this to anybody that's interested in anything close like horror films or serial killers like it's all like packed into this this one tour and and we had a blast uh the story without like completely spoiling everything that was a guy named norman baker bought the hotel and turned it into a cancer hospital and he was manipulating people or lying people telling him that he had the cure for cancer and that surgery and other means of treatment weren't necessary that he had this uh, serum i think it was called formula number no. five that would that would treat people's cancer and uh it only took six weeks and and i think they paid like five thousand dollars or something which was probably pretty expensive back then, especially during the Great Depression. And people would come here for cancer treatments and it, and it turned out over, he only owned the uh, the hospital or hotel for about 22 months. And I think around 40 people uh, died from from his uh, treatments or the lack of treatments uh, of the cancer. So he ended up getting caught, I think, for mail fraud, which is kind of interesting, you know, not malpractice or, or, you know, <laughs> whatever the fudge. He basically uh, got caught because I think he was like using, I don't know, the mail system inappropriately, which is a federal offense, but it's really cool. You get to go tour the entire hotel. Uh, and then at the very end, we had the opportunity to go into the basement, which would have been the morgue then, which they haven't renovated yet. They left this area just for these tours. And they, uh, this is where he would bring the bodies after they passed away and kind of cut the tumors out and experiment with them and keep all these things in like jars. And, and it was just basically, you know, these kind of twisted experiments that he would do. And uh, his pictures were all over the place down here. It was, kind of, it was there was a very creepy vibe for sure. Uh, but, but overall, like just again, a cool tour. Uh, me and my daughter had a ton of fun on the tour. It was about an hour, and, and if you're in the area, I would definitely uh, recommend doing this. It's just very, very interesting story and, and uh, stories uh, wrapped around this hotel 
and again it's, it's been featured on a lot of different uh, uh like ghost hunters and everything like this uh the baker hospital or now it's known as the crescent hotel you can actually stay there uh which is cool we had some people uh on our tour that were staying in like considered to be what the most haunted or frequently reported haunted room so if you're actually wanting to experience something like that or think that something like that is possible then i'm, I'm sure you would be a great place to start um but yeah so ton of fun uh i much needed vacation it was only a couple days uh but like i said it, it was good to get out of town get out of my basement get some uh sun and and some uh r and r with the family hope you enjoyed the vlog uh i'll do more like this uh, as my first time i didn't get a lot of footage as or as much footage as i was hoping i would get uh but uh, you know hey man this is how you learn is one one step at a time so uh, i hope you enjoyed the video uh if you have questions leave the comments below have you been there have you been to eureka springs maybe you experienced something that i didn't at the crescent hotel you should uh, leave your comments below thanks for watching guys really appreciate it and we'll see you in the next video